Hey y'all, welcome in to your read. This is going to be Friday's reading. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. Hey, there's something that you've brought to completion. Okay, the divine is pleased with that. All right, the divine is pleased with whatever it is that you have brought to completion. Okay, so something revolving around the solar eclipse and the new moon. Okay. Um, a lot of energy came up with that solar eclipse and new moon, y'all. OMG, I know I was not the only one last week that was like, what the heck is going on here? What is this? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, I'm glad that that's behind us. Okay. Um, the divine is like, look, there have been some changes to your schedule or to your habits and rituals. Um, and it was to serve your highest and greatest good. All right. So whatever those changes were that you experienced, those woes, those highs and lows, okay um the good the bad and the ugly it was all serving your highest and greatest good the evolution of your soul your mind and something in the physical as well okay so um just know that all right now um yeah the shifting it was for your protection um, also, if you have made some very particular or maybe small changes to your routine, okay, um, it was for your protection. There was someone who was counting on you, okay, to be doing something or be somewhere at a particular point in time, and you were not. So I feel like you were guided to do whatever you did because you threw off the enemy, okay? Um, I feel like what's hidden is that they were looking for you to be somewhere you weren't there, I feel like wherever you were, that was sacred. Whatever was going on, that was sacred, okay? Your spirit guides are like, we were guiding you to do this. The spirit guides, um, insight, guidance, and purpose, all right? It was all serving the highest and greatest good of you or your purpose, okay? It was serving your purpose. If these changes are still taking effect or something significant about changes and changes to your schedule, habits, routine, whatever, rituals, okay, it's because it is serving your purpose. Confirmation with the horn to confirm that, okay? Um, this change or these changes, they have allowed you to outsmart the trickster. Can you believe that? Because hmm? I feel like wherever you were, that was key. Wherever you were at, they didn't expect for you to be there. But the fact that you were there, okay, uh, that right there has something to do with your winning season, okay? So happy Friday. I hope this message finds you guys well, healthy, and strong, provided for, okay? Y'all got that money. Y'all got paid today. You got your check. You're feeling good, okay? Um, mm-hmm. Friday night, just got paid, okay? That type of vibe, I feel that, even though I don't get paid on Fridays. <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> some of you guys do, okay? Um, the divine is like, look, go with the flow. Don't fight whatever these energetic shifts are, whatever these changes are, just go with the flow. Get into nature, get outside. We started this whole entire week off talking about getting outside in nature. So the divine is like, look, the weekend's coming around. It's time for you to get back outside, okay? Um, we got coexistence, gather, and limit waste. For somebody out there, um, let me see... This is how you're going to, okay, so maybe you're choosing, for somebody out there, you could be choosing the weekend as your time to detach from technology, as your time to uh, reconnect with Mother Earth, okay? Um, your spirit guides could be guiding you to do so, like your set time to do this is on the weekends, or your set time to do this is whenever you're free from work, okay? Um, heavy ancestor energy here, something about um, the Mayans as well, as I'm drawn to this energy in the back, which is some type of Mayan statue. Okay, um, something about your Indian heritage, your Indian ancestors, you could be considered indigenous. Um, you could need to braid your hair, okay, or you could be getting your hair braided or done, something like that. Somebody is, okay. Um, it's that type of vibe. So there's a lot of heart chakra healing going on, a lot of throat chakra healing that's going to be going on um, as you detach, okay from technology okay i feel like make this a thing make this a part of your ritual make this a part of your schedule schedule in that time to disconnect um and reconnect with the core of it all okay 
we have an eagle here who's letting me know you are soaring very high um but you're not alone your guides are with you okay as you continue to change and transform your light your frequency um and transform in frequency okay remember it's all for your highest and greatest good remember that god and the angels your ancestors can see what you cannot okay so whatever it is you're being led to do know that it's on purpose and it's because you have a higher presence around you that can see what it is that you what you can't okay so they could have you make moves in the physical and you're like why am i doing this why did I why do I want to go here today? Why do I want to do this today? Okay, just go with the flow. All right, you're being guided by a higher presence. Okay, it says move your body, dance, breathe, and flow. Just go with the flow. Okay, so it says balance yourself, direction, growth, and life stages. Okay, um, I feel like you're going to, so long as you go with the flow, you're going to feel this energy of um, things balancing out for you or in your space or on your behalf. Okay. Let's see what affirmations come out for Friday. We're going to keep this really, really cute and sweet. Okay, cute and sweet, not short and sweet. Although there's something about a short and sweet that I did um, around the time that you are viewing this reading. Okay, um, I haven't done any new short and sweets, but I'm sure I will be delving up into them sometime this week. So whichever one is the latest one um, that has been released around Friday. Okay, go ahead and check that out if I did release one. Okay, because there's going to be a message or this correlates with that message. Okay. All right. So it says, I am a protector. Okay, so we got the Six of Swords energy here. Um, you're being moved to a peaceful time, a peaceful space. Okay, there's something God has you doing and it's because you're a protector. Okay. Um, and so because you're a protector, they're protecting you as well. It's like, this is a domino effect. This is being handed down. Okay. Um, they're doing something because of your doing something. They're taking action because of the action that you're required to take. Okay. It's God love, God's love at work in the world. Okay. So you could be a prophet. I am vindicated. All right. Karmic debt eliminated. So that's what they're, that's what they are watching they're having you make particular moves because in the background they're assisting you um as this protector energy they're assisting you um because you're a prophet but not only because you're a prophet it's because they are leading you to vindication they're clearing some sort of karmic debt okay it's like as long as you're not in this one place it's going to prove something else something is connected to something else but the actions that you're taking is assisting them in your vindication Okay, Pac-Man energy. You're being guided to, to, instead of going left, you your spirit may say, no, 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 don't take a left here, take a right. Okay, it could be as clear as that, but I feel like you're going to receive clear communication on what you need to be doing, where you need to be at, and what you need to be doing while you're in that space, okay? Because you're going to be in a space that somebody doesn't expect for you to be in, and in, in, in not expecting you to be there, the fact that you are there, it's going to be running away someone or eliminating them from out of your energy. It says, I am a wise cat counselor let the advice you give be a blessing and not a curse okay let's go all right at the bottom of the deck oh you got a victory too um so you're being vindicated you have a victory here and you're able to protect others so you could be standing up for somebody friday somebody other than yourself I feel like people see that. People see that you're a protector energy, a protector light, or a protector spirit. You could be some type of a guardian. I'm hearing guardian of the galaxies. Okay, you could be that, all right? It says, I am Bakita. Bakita, I am precisiveness, the truth. Pumpkin spice in all things nice, okay? It's that type of vibe. Um, so the energy of Oshun is here, which is Leo, which is the light, okay? They're helping you balance out your light as well. They could also be helping helping balance out, well, we know direction, okay, growth, life stage. They're helping you balance out like what, what direction you take this stage of your life for the best growth possible. That's what I'm getting as well. <laughs> Confirmation with the spiritual belch. Okay. So the color of the day is 
white and gold. It's also giving leopard print, okay? So heavy ancestor energy here, okay? Big cat family, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that, okay? Oh my God, definitely the color white because both of these are written in white. So yes, and then gold. Oh my God, white and gold. Black and yellow, but it's not black and yellow. It's white and yellow. So I'm feeling that, okay? I'm really feeling that. White and gold. Ophelkes, divine warrior. Okay, so you're a divine warrior. A warrior is a protector energy. So that's confirming that. Chosen, we are sent here to protect. We are sent here to protect our truth and the truths of others. Okay, we are sent here to, um, I feel like, stand up for the lesser energies or weaker energies because of the strength that we have. We've gained this strength um, only by way of experiences, okay? The, you could have, you could be very seasoned, meaning you could be spiritually wise. I just feel like you're very wise, okay? Um, and your wisdom is also a protector. And the way that you gain wisdom is by experience. So I feel like you've seen a thing or two, you've experienced a thing or two, okay? I am vindicated. Sonic energy is here. Pac-Man energy is here. Sagittarius energy is here. So the Divine Warrior, we are expanding. We're hitting our target, okay? Um, judgment energy is here, okay? I feel like we're bringing judgment to our enemies right now. I really, really do. Taurus, okay, okay? I'm a wise counselor. Cultivate. Yeah, you're bringing, you're bringing, you're, you bringing, you're bringing the heat to your enemies is what you're doing. You're bringing the smoke to your enemies. As this protector energy, you are bringing the smoke to your enemies, to the opposition, not just your enemies, but to the ops. Like you are lighting the ops ass up. I don't know what you do. Man, just make sure you do tap back into Mother Nature, okay? Because that's where you recharge, okay? It's also the energy of you tapping into your sacred space, okay? Which is your temple turning inward, okay? So you can recharge, so you can be filled back up by Mother Gaia. She's put you in position to protect her children. I did a reading a few weekends ago and I mentioned that. I was like, yes, like she said she's going to be bringing you her broken. She was going to be bringing you those who need your assistance. They're her babies, but she was going to bring them to you for physical help in this reality. So it's an energy where you've been doing that as this protector, this warrior spirit. Your, your territory is being increased, enlarged. You're going to be taking over more territory, more land, more people. You're going to have more responsibility. It's something like that, okay? As this empress with Taurus being out here is so that you can, you can cultivate, you can raise up other protector spirits, other warriors, okay? But just make sure you are taking care of yourself, turning in, disconnecting, detach, things like that, doing your work on yourself, right on your light so that you can continue to stand out here and be precise as the truth i just feel like your ops don't want it with you okay they don't want the smoke but you bringing them the smoke you bringing them all the smoke as if they say i want all the smoke you're bringing it to them okay scorpio investigate so yeah just make sure you are taking that time to balance yourself out balance your energies Okay, getting one with nature, the white feather. You may need to cleanse shamans out there. Get your white feather. Make sure you're cleansing your energy. Okay, go out there and play with rocks. Okay, there's a lot of rocks here. Also, tap into the energy of your crystals for protection, for clearing. Okay. All right, let's see what the buzz is. Beautiful. Okay, all glory to God, warriors. Chosen, give all glory to God, okay? The song is beautiful by DJ Khalid and Seza and Future. Okay, next out, we got Higher Than This by Lettucey. Sagittarius, what can be higher than this? Tell me what can be higher than this, okay? What, what can be? 
Y'all better look up that song. That's a good jam right there. But it's like the frequency you're in, it's like ain't nothing higher than this. Can't nothing be higher than what you're on right now, okay? So get into nature, tap in because that is the highest elevation, okay? Happy hump day. This says for your love, okay? Somebody, Taurus, I feel like for your love, they'll do anything, and that's a good and a bad thing. I'm just saying. Okay, but check out that song by Stevie Wonder. Okay, we got Banking on Me on the bottom of the deck. This song came out this week already. So did Beautiful and that's it. The other ones didn't. But Beautiful, Scorpio. I mean, I'm banking on me, Scorpio. Okay, they're banking on you. You the bank. Okay, uh, it's giving me you're the plug vibes. Okay, um, and it's like people, a lot of people come to you possibly for your advice, your guidance. Um, or your protection, okay, Scorpio? So that's why it is so important, like I said, for you to stay filled up, for you to um, stay connected to the universe so that you make sure that the advice that you're giving is the absolute best advice that you could possibly give, okay? All right, because when we empty, when we're on E, we can't, we can't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing left to give, okay? So make sure you get plenty of rest this weekend, all right? It's that type of vibe. Get your dance on, move your body. It'll be good for your energy as well. Turn you some tunes on and get in there and dance, okay? I'm hearing dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands. Take it as it resonates, okay? When's that off of the Adams family or something like that? Okay, so we got increased sexuality and passion. The Isora uh, spiritual meaning of focus, okay? You could be getting it on a lot more, all right? Or you're just feeling very fertile, or you could be fertile. If you ain't trying to have no baby right now, wrap that thing up, oh, focus. Okay, that's the vibe for Friday. This weekend, honey, honey. Wrap that thing up, okay? Uh, but enjoy, all right? Enjoy these sexual experiences. You could feel an increased um, passion, an increased burning desire, okay? Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing fire and desire. That's by uh, Lisa. Is it Lisa? Hold on. Rick James and... Hold on one second. And desire. Oh, maybe it's just Rick James. I thought my girl was in there too, though. Yeah, Tina Marie. I said Lisa, but I meant Tina. Somebody's name could be Lisa. Somebody's name could be Tina. Somebody's name could be Marie. Somebody's name could be James. Somebody's name could be Rick. But the vibe is this song is Fire and Desire, okay, by Rick James and Tina Marie. Now, I am seeing just two days ago, today's Sunday, so oh, it looks like it was out six months ago. I don't know, but there is a song by Drake called Fire and Desire. However, that's not the one I'm, I'm drawn to, but maybe maybe you recently were listening to that song. Maybe you're, you need to. I don't know. Okay, but um, yeah. Now, did I already do a sign? No, I didn't. That was the affirmation. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. A couple more signs, Holy Spirit, for Friday for my viewers. So the signs that are significant on Friday, the energies astrologically are Ophiuchus, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. All right. Any more signs, Spirit? Any other signs? Okay, there we go. Okay, we got Seahorse Spirit, watch and wait, Sagittarius. Watch and wait, okay? Um, but this right here also says that it speaks about magic, good luck, persistence, masculine power, strength, and peace. And lastly, we have uh, the chrysanthemum spiritual meaning. Okay, which speaks about longevity, fidelity, joy, and optimism. This says purpose, it says productivity, and it says divinely protected. 444 is very significant, possibly as a number, significant to Friday. At the bottom of the deck, we got perspectives. Oh, ladybug. Okay. So the ladybug spiritual meaning, which talks about good luck, genuine love, as well as a harbinger of transformation. Okay, so get ready for all of this energy because I feel like it's coming to a theater near you very soon. 
okay um let's just go ahead and see what guys and guardians come out just right quick like for friday thank you angels and spirit guides for friday okay emotep visionary ophiuchus okay visionary okay. i feel like design and pave the future how you see it okay um you're manifesting we got nematona sagittarius safe space okay you're in a safe space you could be really um having a very powerful experience with trees okay sagittarius or you, you, you have a very powerful connection to trees. Okay, let them nurture you. Sit under a tree, sit near a tree, lean up against a tree, hug a tree, something like that this weekend. Okay? All right, what else do we got? We got Oshun, sweet success, Taurus. I was just saying Oshun energy, so it's definitely here. Okay, I guess I'll go back down the road. We got Aphrodite, eternal love, Ophiuchus. We got Mawulisa with balance, okay, um, Sagittarius. And then we have spiritual transformation, Kalimai, okay, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, no more hiding, okay? This can't be hidden no more, all right? The fact that you are precisiveness, your truth speaks volumes, all right? Whoever you are, continue to stand in it. Because it's bringing you some type of prosperity, okay? Continue to stand in your truth because it's bringing you prosperity. You guys, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Let's go ahead and do a buzz on it. Not buzz. A um, <laughs> breaking news. Okay, let's see what the breaking news is. All right. Breaking news, you shine. Okay, that's what this deck is called breaking news you shine so let's see what you shine has to say all right breaking news it says child dies while taking a shower and a parent drowning y'all somebody needs to look a lot more deeper into this okay um if it's any type of situation with a child in a bathtub a child drowning they need to look deeper into that because that baby didn't drown, okay? Um, but anyway, uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have unknown sustenance sprayed on the subway at Union Square. That baby was poisoned. There's a baby that's going to be poisoned or a child that's being poisoned or somebody that is going to be found in a tub that has been poisoned. They, it's poisoning. Look into it, okay? That's the breaking news vibe that I'm getting off of those. Let's see. Somebody that's been sending you the evil eye is about to experience a power moment as well or some type of ending, okay? Yeah, look at that. Natural disaster, okay? That's a tower energy and fear or opportunity, but let's keep going. Let's see. Short and sweet for Friday. Thank you, angels and spirit guys. Short and sweet for Friday. Friday. So congratulations on whatever that is that you completed. I feel like you worked hard at it, okay? And you brought it to a successful end, okay? We got tear shed. Uh -uh. Somebody's crying over your love. No thanks. I feel like because you told them you don't want to, you don't want to engage with them anymore. I also feel you telling, like, you you wishing your tears or your sad days a goodbye, okay? You guys, this has been your read for Friday. I hope each and every one of you guys enjoyed. And as always, I enjoy bringing this message to you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, I love you guys. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.